Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. Despite the heat today, some folks across the First Coast actually did see some rain, primarily uh, across southeast Georgia, all the way from Savannah down towards the Brunswick area. And that's where we have our one lone shower here this evening. Now just beginning to move a little bit further to the northeast uh, of Brunswick in between there and the Darien area. But besides that, not really a whole lot else on radar this evening. But elsewhere across the country, you heard Anthony mention earlier in the show, we could see some travel delays tomorrow due to uh, some pretty sig significant weather. Kansas, Oklahoma, you're going to be smack dab in the middle of it tomorrow. Moderate risk for severe weather and potentially strong to violent long track tornadoes. I used to work out in Oklahoma. I, I tracked a lot of tornadoes out there, uh, and this is probably one of the most significant or severe uh, ingredient makeups for severe weather that, uh, that I have seen uh, for quite some time. There's going to be a, a ton of instability in the air, so those air parcels that create the updrafts and thunderstorms will be very, very strong. And I mean, just the helicity. So the amount of rotation in the air and just how strong that rotation is, is pretty much just off the charts tomorrow. So um, just something to keep an eye on as we do head into the long weekend here. But here across the first coast, not nearly uh, as severe as that. We could see a few rain chances, especially by late tomorrow afternoon and even into the evening hours as a very weak cold front slides its way down through Alabama and Georgia. Those storms get pushed out ahead of it and will drape their way across many of our southeast Georgia counties by the late afternoon. So three to four o'clock from Waycross to Folkestone all the way over to Brunswick. Few isolated thunder thunderstorms, a few heavier downpours as well that will gradually shift further to the south and southeast. So north sides of Duval County and Jacksonville might just see a little uh, rain, maybe just some spritzes of some showers by about six to seven before then everything clears on out then through the rest of your Saturday night. Now, looking ahead to Sunday, Temperature is going to continue to warm up. We're going to be locked into fairly strong southwesterly winds. So where that convergence zone is between the southwest winds and the southeast or easterly sea breeze, again, we could see a few coastal showers pop up, likely after about 4 to 5 o'clock then for your Saturday night. So keep that, uh, or Sunday night, excuse me. So keep that in mind if you do have any outdoor plans come Sunday evening. But for the most part, really, big story is going to be the heat. Mid-90s for Saturday, Sunday, and also for your Memorial Day on Monday. So if you are headed out to any um, graveside uh, ceremonies or anything like that, stay hydrated. Try to find a, a tree or just somewhere to get in the shade, at least for some time being, because air temperatures are going to be in the mid-90s. Real field temperatures are going to be in the triple digits through the weekend and into your Memorial Day. So when are we finally going to see some relief? Well, that's going to come in the way of, yes, a cold front likely by next Tuesday. That will bring us some more widespread scattered showers and storm chances through much of the day on Tuesday, could even linger into early Wednesday morning. But really, the, the biggest thing is going to be just the nice cool down. Hard to believe we might actually be in the mid to even the low 80s by next Thursday and Friday.